Welcome back to News to Astonish, everyone. My name is Ronnie, and today we're going to be doing a top five suits we need in Marvel's Wolverine. Marvel's Wolverine seems like a long way away, but I want to take this opportunity to at least make a video about it. I'm sure all of you can take a break from my usual Marvel Spider-Man video once in a while, right? Don't worry, there's more coming. So before I get started, I want to first off thank Pixelshawn for allowing me to use his video as inspiration to make one of my own. Definitely check out his channel. He's really close to a thousand subscribers. He makes amazing content. Also, like, comment, subscribe if I've earned your subscription and click on the bell notification so you don't miss videos like this. Join my Discord invitation link into the description box below along with the links to my social media, Twitter and Instagram. With all that being said, let's begin with number five, Days of Future Past. This isn't so much of a costume, rather it's a skin. You get my point. It's a look and a very simple look you'd probably catch me sporting if we had the actual winter season down in South Florida where I'm from. It's a simple brown coat with fur collar, black shirt underneath, brown cargo pants. I just love this look and I bet it'll look even better in 4K quality. I'm sure some of you out there have heard of the Days of Future Past, which is one of the X-Men's most famous comic book storylines and it's a damn good one. The storyline deals with a dystopian future in which mutants are incarcerated in internment camps. The story also alternates between the present year of 1980 and future year of 2013, where Sentinels rule a dystopian United States and mutants are hunted. The X-Men send Kitty Pride's mind backward through time to possess the body of her younger self and to prevent a dire event in mutant history. Definitely add that outfit judging by the look of wolverine's outfit in the trailer it's right there on the fine line of simplicity number four wolverine's first appearance 1974 costume need i say more it wouldn't be a top five wolverine costume list without this one wolverine's first appearance on a cover of a comic book was on the cover of the incredible hulk number 181 by now the costume looks a bit cheesy but it's too classic to not include it in the game Sporting his classic yellow spandex with blue gloves and boots gives him this animalistic look to the character. I think it's high time we get a 4K update on this classic piece. Number three, brown and tan uncanny X-Men. The brown and tan Wolverine suit is what you'd expect. It's simply the basic design from the mask down to the boots. John Byrne opted for a different color scheme and yellow and blue became brown and tan. Personally, it's one of my favorites of Wolverine's costumes and I hope we get to see it in Marvel's Wolverine and Marvel Studios X-Men as it does sort of give this modern look vibe to it. Number two, Logan. Have any of you seen the Logan movie? You should definitely see it when you get a chance. In the film, Logan appears old and withered down. I'm assuming the setting in Marvel's Wolverine will take place maybe a few years after the events of X-Men, or who knows, it could probably be a prequel judging by the trailer. I could only assume that the Wolverine we saw in the trailer is a bit withered and he's had experience and seems to take I'm the best there is at what I do, but what I do best isn't very nice very seriously. Having this particular look available as a costume slash skin would be great, except Insomnia Games probably wouldn't be able to get the likeness of Hugh Jackman. Ah well, I'm okay with it as long as we get this look. And finally at number one, the X jacket. In the modern era, especially in the 21st century, Wolverine is seen wearing a black jacket with a yellow circular X insignia. The style is increasingly associated with the Wolverine character, giving more of a humanized appearance rather than someone in a costume. His new look went with the aesthetic of the team in the Uncanny X-Men reboot, where the rest of the team sported a minimalistic look as well. Sometimes having a minimalistic look is always best. Perhaps Wolverine will have this suit available in his wardrobe in the upcoming Marvel's Wolverine. Maybe he'd like to put it on once in a while to remind himself that he's somewhat of a member of the team after all. And that's it for my top five costumes we need in Marvel's Wolverine. I know it's a bit of a short one today, guys, but I had to get this out there. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making this video. Didn't see a costume in my top five picks you'd like to see in Marvel's Wolverine? Comment down below and let me know which costume you'd like to see in Marvel's Wolverine and what are your thoughts about my list. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification so you all don't miss videos like this, and I will see you all in the next comic panel.